Hey, welcome to another vision therapy exercise. Today we're going to be learning the activity of pointer straw. In order to play this game, you need to have a two person game. So if you have a patient at home, you wanna make sure that you have some kind of parent or helper to assist with this activity. I like playing this sitting on the floor, but you could also do it play sitting um, in chairs um, or across each other um, at the table. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take an eye patch and you're gonna have the patient patch an eye. Now when playing this exercise, the patient is going to have the pointer. So go ahead and hold that for me. So you want to imagine that there is an imaginary grid surrounding the patient's face with their face in the center box. Kind of like a three by three. So three rows by three columns and their face is in the center. So you have an up, upper right quadrant, center right and upper left you have right, center, and left, and then you have down right, down center, and down left. So you ready? So I'm gonna hold the straw and I want you to take the stick and put it inside. We're gonna do it again. Go ahead and put your stick inside. Keep going all the way in and pull it back out. Okay, go ahead and put it in. Good, let's do it again. So you see how here she's not moving her head, she's moving her eyes. That's the correct way to do this exercise. And how about up here? Keep going all the way in and pull it back out. Okay, go ahead and put it in. So you see how here the patient is not um, they're not putting their head down, they're just keeping their head straight but putting their eyes in the down gaze. That's the proper way to do it. You should see their eyes really moving or stretching when they're doing this activity. You can also vary the position of the straw by putting it up and down instead of, um, instead of horizontal. And when you go up to the top, they can poke it from the bottom. One last one. Very good. What you're looking for in this activity when you're doing this exercise is one accurate eye-hand coordination. Because the patient has one eye patch, they're going to really have to judge the space. And you don't want them poking around or just guessing. You want them to use their eye to really be able to see the tip of the straw to really guide the pointer inside. What you also want to do is you're looking for eye movements. So again, when you're going to the side or up or down, you don't want to see them turn their head. You want to have them keep their head forward and just turn their eyes to the different positions. Thanks for joining us for a fun activity called Pointer and Straw. We hope that you've learned a lot about how to make your vision more accurate and judge depth and be careful um, not to rush, but again, you're looking for extreme accuracy of the eye guiding the hand and the pointer into the straw. So thanks for joining us for another fun vision therapy exercise and we'll see you guys again next time.